And I said, I really want to be just me. And he goes, master one move. Don't master every move in wrestling. Master one move. And I go, what move? Uh-huh. He goes, just choose one. Pick one. Anything, right? I chose the uh, double leg takedown. All right? And that's where you distract the guy, grab his legs, pick him up, and put him down. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, that's the only thing I knew. But I could do it, man. And even the, even if you knew it was coming, you couldn't stop it. In fact, mm-hmm. I was at this tournament, and this coach across the hall goes, he was sitting right over here, and he goes, watch out for the double leg takedown. It's the only thing he knows. Uh-huh. Right? And my, I look over at my coach, and my coach goes like this. He goes... Do it, it's all you know. <laughs> right? I shot in. I took him down. I didn't know what to do. I let him go. I took him down again. Every time he escapes, he gets one point. When I take him down, I get two. When you know something yeah. so well yeah, yeah. and yeah, you yeah. believe in it, yeah, yeah, you're unstoppable. Dude, that is brilliant, man. That yeah. might be the biggest piece of advice I've ever had anybody give in this room. To what? know one thing, learn one thing so well. Yeah. Even if they know it's coming, they can't stop it. Yeah. So. Explain, what is multi-level marketing, and why, why the bad reputation, man? Okay, <clears throat> let me tell you what it is first. Okay, so there are people who make stuff and people who sell stuff, Yeah. right? Okay, yeah, sure. so multi-level marketing is on the sell stuff side of what others make, right? Now, when you take, if you were to, I'm going to pull this book. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so we're going to use this. By the way, get this book. Um, if... I sell you. Your this. wife had that book before you had it. That's exactly right. right. Tell the story. Right. That's, I, I came in from a trip. I looked down, and there's a book sitting there, and I love the title. Right, the title sells. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I look at it, and I saw your name, Grant Cardone. I'm like, Are you kidding me? Because I knew you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, You're reading Grant Cardone? And I said, Don't do it. It's good stuff. Yeah. Like you're really on it. You're not. Yeah, you're not just pitching something. Thanks, thanks. Okay. So I sell this book to you. You buy it. That's direct sales. Okay. Okay, so network marketing is in a category called direct sales. And so that's why they, people sometimes think, oh, you're going door to door. No, not necessarily. Yeah, so, so as opposed to it being in a store, that's being right. sold out of a retail store or being sold online, just a human to human. That's right, so it's a direct sale. Right. Multi-level marketing is just a way to describe how the commission structure is paid. Mm-hmm. You see, it, 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 in, in a direct sale environment. Yeah, so if you can just imagine, you've got staff running around here, right? Yeah. Okay, and let's say you created an infa- uh, some sort of a compensation plan and you named it something that everybody gets. Right, right. So multi-level marketing only represents how you're compensated. If you're compensated on more than one level, uh-huh. so I sell it to you. Multi-level. That's right. So if uh-huh. I sell it to you and then you read it and go, you know what, this is pretty good. Can I make a commission? And then you sell it to somebody right. else. right. Now that's multi-level. So so so, what's wrong with that? I mean, why 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 is this a big deal? Like, why do people have a problem with that? Um, that's multifaceted. Okay, uh, so there's a couple of different reasons. Um, number one is it's a misunderstood model. You walk into a franchise and there's customers sitting over here. There is a salesperson and a manager is out back. Right, right. Makes total sense to everybody. But what no one understands in network marketing is you're all three. Right, right. I'm right. the customer. I'm also the sales rep. I'm also the manager of all right, the sales right, reps right, I have. Right, right. And so I, it's I, just I like confusing, uh-huh. confusing to people. They're like, I don't get it, right? Uh-huh. And also, there has been a misfocus or, or a, a lack of focus on getting customers. Mm-hmm. Because if I can get you to buy a you, you mean you mean a, cust- a, a real user, a real of, user the product, of the product, as opposed to a, a, a wholesaler or, or somebody that's just holding inventory. Picture a franchisee goes out and sells you a hundred thousand dollar franchise mm-hmm. to get you to sell another hundred thousand dollar franchise, and you're going to ask the question, "Who's the customer?" Right. In other right, words, right, 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 right. I'm just selling franchises, and it keeps on going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, it's wrong. Yeah, yeah, It's, yeah, it's yeah. legitimately wrong. And yeah. one of the main reasons I came back into the industry was to correct that behavior because it's gotten out of control. Uh huh. So that's one of the things that's wrong with it. It's the lack of focus. But, 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 real but let me understand what is wrong with that. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just not going to work. But no, because, no. The FTC just has a problem with it. Okay. Okay. okay so okay. the FTC. Uh, sued Amway back in the 70s, fought okay. it for like five to seven years, lost the case. FTC or Amway did? FTC. Okay. FTC sued Amway. Okay. 
Okay. Um, and so FTC lost the case because what they were trying to prove is that every level of the chain earned less money. And that's not the case. In uh -huh. fact, I've never seen a company where the top distributor earns the most money. I don't make the most money even though I'm the top distributor. Uh -huh. Okay. And so you have people underneath you that make more money. They, than you. In I fact, some of the people in that network could actually make more money than the guy that founded the thing. Yes, and right. often do. Right. I make right. more money than the guy that founded. Right, right. Okay. Um, I was told that if you want to be a millionaire in, in network marketing, no, if you want to own a network marketing, you've got to start with like hundreds of millions of dollars to end up with a couple million. Like, like, like those guys typically lose money that that found the company. Yeah, it's a completely different structure. Yeah, yeah. So when these buyers, you know, big, big uh, finance companies come in and try to buy these things, uh, it's a bad, it's bad news because you want to flow all your money as a company. You want to flow all your money into those distributors because, uh -huh. man, they go, they work hard for you. Right, right. They work hard for you. Because at this company, no, nobody, Robert's never going to make more money than I make. Yeah. Owning this company, it's just not going to happen. That's I mean, right. I mean, it just won't. It happen. better not. <laughs> well, I mean, it just wouldn't work. My company, I'd be like, well, what am I doing? But, yeah. but what you're saying is you could have, but also don't have forty or 50,000 distributors. Right. And I'm probably not going to go to a multi-billion dollar company because of that. So multi-level marketing gives monster opportunities to all these people that are out doing direct sales, getting paid on other levels below me. Why do people have a problem with that? Uh, like I said, it's just misunderstood. Also, uh, I got to tell you a big part is a lot of people have done it, they've tried it. Uh -huh. And you know what happens when you try it. Yeah. Okay? And so they have not gotten really, really good advice. Um, they weren't taught the infrastructure. Like, here's what I love about your stuff, man, is that you speak truth in it. You give people words, but you speak truths. Mm -hmm. And that's huge. So that's the primary thing, is that a lot of people have tried network marketing, and it didn't work. And so they got a bad taste in their mouth, or their friend just comes in like a wrecking ball and trashes them. You know, come on, join my company, join my company. And it's just too much. Uh -huh. And they don't use finesse in sales, right? So you can use a, a pitching wedge on the on the putting green right, and right. tear stuff up. Yeah, and that's yeah, what I've a done, lot of people... That <laughs> that's when he left the golf so, course. So, so, so like a buddy of mine says, I can talk anybody in a network market. I'm like, well, dude, you might be able to talk them into it, but they're not going to stay closed. That's right. People right. can't, you don't stay, you, you can stay closed on buying the book. Doesn't mean you're going to read the book. Yeah. So, right. you know, getting somebody that wants to do the business, because it's a long run. It's not, it's not a, this weekend we're going to make a bunch of money. That's right. Is that fair to say? That's all is, absolutely. Is, has it been pitched by others that, hey, there's a quick, easy way to make money and it only costs you 50 bucks to get in? Um, is that has problem? it been pitched that way? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And has it happened? Yes. Uh -huh. I mean, you can. 